Welcome to The Divide with Mike and Corey, two diehard baseball fans who don't agree on anything. Which Welcome side will you divide. choose? Mm-hmm. This with is Mike The Divide. Corey. Mm-hmm. That's your boy Todd Frazier. Hey guys, I'm Julie Stewart Banks. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Cliff Floyd. You can catch me on The Divide. You can catch me on The Divide on Fox Sports The Gambler. Hopefully our disagreements one day bring us all together. So stupid. <laughs> so, so corny. And I hope our disagreements bring us together. Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is the divide. <laughs> and here we are, Divide Live on Fox Sports The Gambler, 1025 Philly, 1041 Trenton, or check us out on the iHeartRadio app. Bro. What's up? We haven't talked all week. I know, I know. It's it, like, I, so I think that's what took us so long to get recording in mm-hmm. the studio was because I just went. I know. 90 miles an hour. It was great, you. though. Yeah. I we, should have uh, saved it, but no, well, typi- some of that was personal. <laughs> typi- <laughs> typically, we, we uh, talk. We just didn't connect. And you had a busy week. You, since the last time mm-hmm. uh, our listeners heard us, you, you did the uh, Eat Clean Bro Gala. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. And then you went to a Flyers game. Yeah, I did. I did. I you took had some clients meeting there. after meeting. You, yeah. you got some good uh, things coming up. And no, I need you. I, yeah. I made soup. <laughs> I love it. So what kind? pretty, what kind? pretty busy week for me. It what? was a uh, creamy chicken tomato type deal. Do you have man. leftovers? Of course I do, man. Because Peyton is a soup maniac, oh. and also I'm a single dad right now. I don't know oh. if you know this. Wife, the wife is at the iHeart Podcast Awards, oh. which airs on this network. Sure does on Monday night. Look at that. So fun fact. Yeah, we are not nominated. No, not this year, you guys. No. But there's always next year. You could look it up. We were nominated for award. Um, one of the few accolades we could say that we have on Fox Sports The Gambler that many don't. That's Speaking true. of that, do you think that Sean Brace knows that he sings our theme song? I hope so. Well, well I'm actually, maybe not. He <laughs> might He might demand money if he knows we're yeah, using facts. his likelihood. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I he know. said it on the air, so it's a, I guess it's free. There's only one use. person that interacts with us on a daily basis, or at least me, that I know does not listen to the show, and that's my wife. That's so great. I feel like I could just <laughs> say whatever I want. <laughs> it took her about, I'm not making this up, it was probably about the 18-month mark where mm-hmm. of us being on the radio, where she was like, you guys are on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I said I felt like uh, you know it's like Water Boy, the mom like you're never gonna make it. <laughs> 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 oh man, oh, or, let, or let's what is that? Dewey Cox or what was that? That's uh, you're never gonna make it, mom. I'm a professional athlete or I'm a, a multi-billion uh, record. Pl- I don't know, whatever. I'm, no, I don't. I'm oh, confusing. maybe it is. I think you. Yeah, I think you're both of them. Walk are kinda hard. Like, I think you're confusing yeah, walk, walk hard and Water Boy. Yeah. And water Boy. John Jansen is the <laughs> movie buff. It, it, the Oscars are on right now, so mm-hmm. if anybody wants to watch that instead <laughs> of this. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, dude, it's it's yeah, it's been crazy. You you had a dad experience that kind of unlocked memories for me, and uh, that was trying to get to the studio. You put your daughter to bed. Oh my god! Yeah. Before even getting getting here tonight, yeah, uh, I I'm like, all right, man, I'll be there at whatever time, and mm-hmm. I just gotta put it. And I had her asleep so quick, and I get up to put her in the crib, and my phone slides off like the arm of the the rocking chair. Yeah, and it was just I as soon as it hit the because we have hardwood floors, so it just echoes. Mm. Sounded like a brag. I didn't, I, I didn't, I'm not trying to brag here. <laughs> <laughs> about my hardwood floor. That's an old person bet. Um, um, but dude, as soon as it hit the floor, she just opened her eye. I'm like, dude, yeah, come on. That g- after that, it was like another 30 minutes of trying to get her to the sleep. escape plan for an infant or a toddler. Oh like, is God. always the most epic part. But it gets easier, dude. My daughter now puts on her her white noise. Uh, nice. Tells Alexa nice. to put on her white noise. Nice. Uh, she turns on her nightlight, and then ironically, she puts on a sleeping mask. <laughs> like, so I was like, "Why do you need?" And so uh, just to have that option, like I yeah. don't, I want it to be pitch black when I want it to be pitch black. Yeah, but, um, but yeah. I'm, I can't wait until like because we we have the sound machine for her, which is like deafening if you're in there. Like you mm-hmm. really can't hear anything that happens outside the room. No, but for some reason we still because we have to like walk past her bedroom to get to our bedroom. We still tiptoe like past her bedroom, <laughs> like just in case. I love it. I love it. It's it's, it's it's great. Let's let's get into some sports here because like some good stuff happened and a lot of things that we need to kind of ramble about here. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about since we're in Philly. I want to talk about Kelsey's retirement first. Uh, 
the takeaways from it. Like you, wa- I'm sure you watched the speech. Yeah, great speech. It's been a topic of yeah. conversation for the last uh, day or so, two days at, at the station. Um, we, and we, everybody knew it was coming. Um, right. yeah. No one really thought that that, that wasn't going to happen. But imagine loving your job so damn much yeah. to where you're that emotional when you're like, I, I can't do it. Like not only, lo- not only loving your job so much, but making millions of dollars, loving your job so much and mm. still being that emotional when you're like, I can't do this anymore. I cried the last day with my old company. Uh, no, so. I understand. Yeah. But at the same time, no, I get that. Like yeah. you left for a different you venture. know, venture. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. leaving to enjoy his family and, you mm-hmm. know, the just not working for the rest of his life. Yeah, you know fair. I mean? And his podcast, that's hella yeah. successful. Absolutely. And, you know, and you never know. But what I would share is it, the, <laughs> I'm cracking up because the fan base and I'm sorry. All week I've been walking around Philadelphia calling them the crybaby Kelsey's <laughs> 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 fans. <laughs> crybaby Kelsey fans. I, I'm just like, yo, dude, like get over it. He's retired. Like. Because the funniest part was they all were like, he's retired, man. You know, there was just some clowns that one were upset that I had Brendan Graham on. And I asked them the Kelsey thing. And they were in my DM. Some some people were actually friends. Uh, they were like, of course he's retired. Why would you even ask that? I was like, well, because it's uh, one, it's his teammate. Two, yeah. Brendan said it's his last year for him coming right, up right so it was a great question to ask it's i think an the interview guy, bro like yeah it's an interview it's a great question i was like oh gee i don't know maybe because people will actually click on it and comment like for this interaction right here that's why i did journalism it. yeah yeah okay. exactly and, and also it was nine minutes unscripted and uh it was a great interview you could check it out on give us a shot network on fox sports the gamblers youtube page it's it's a really gr- great interview and brendan graham was amazing i'm rooting for him like so don't take this as an eagle slant what i'm cracking up is now those same guys are like oh, i'm gonna go out and get his campbell soup can i'm gonna miss him wah, wah. i'm like shut up dude you were the one saying he was leaving yeah you were the one saying he was retired now you're like damn dude i'm gonna go back listen to his speech it's so impactful like stop Stop, he retired. Bro, or the people that... Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, I like Jason Kelsey. Oh, it's such a passionate guy. But uh, his Hungry Dog speech, yeah. where they're like, <laughs> Hungry Dogs run fast. Hungry I'm dogs. Like, no, 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 they don't run fast. They're right. too weak. They're, they're, they need to eat. They're mal- what are you, what's yeah, wrong with you? They're malnourished. Yeah, get yeah, out of here. Yeah. I was going to say, like, uh, <laughs> I get it. I, look, man, I, I mean, it, it's weird to have, it, uh, or I should say not weird, but uncommon for a offensive lineman, you know, when they retire to have the fan base that upset. I yeah. Mean, that, that that just shows the type of job he right. did, you know, for, for the team. years, decades. You know? I mean, you know, you saw the timeline. Those posts are cool, you know, uh, showing the, the, the many faces of, of Kelsey yeah. and throughout the years. And it's just, yeah, man, like it's – it's um, he's such a cool guy. He's going to be – he yeah, he's going to be around the team. I'm sure he'll be at the Phillies games. I'm sure yeah. he's going to be all over the place. It wouldn't surprise me yeah. if he gets hired in some sort of coaching capacity in the next few years. I don't think he would want it. I, I no. like. I don't. I don't know if I'm him, man. Like what? Like I have a, one, a top five podcast. Right. Right. I'm going to be making money. My my soon to be sister in law is Taylor Swift. I have an awesome family. Uh, Shaq is the reason he put it through the goalpost. Like, I don't know if you saw that interview. Yo, Shaq got really emotional. He's like, don't get too attached to this game. You'll lose your whole family when you retire. I saw that. You got to be a good dad. Like, all this other stuff. Like, and I think it was like a scared straight moment because Graham said, hey, you know, like, I think he's going to convince himself to come back one more year with all the press and the love he's getting. So his teammate thought it was a possibility that he yeah, would come back, yeah. you know, but all the, I told you, Mike, I told you like, all right, dude, go cry, go cry in the corner. Cause <laughs> Jason Kelsey retired. Okay. Like go cry in the corner. Let me have a nice cry out when you're done. I'll be here hosting a radio show or a podcast, whatever we want to call it. Uh, so look, man, it's, it's just, it's for me, it's, it's hilarious, but also like, he's such a great guy that I do wish him well. And I'm not making fun of him. I'm just making fun of, you know, the social media meatheads. No, abs- and then, but even like, you know, they saw, of course, Travis got an interview and on his podcast or mm-hmm. on their podcast, I should say, he got emotional again saying it's going to feel very empty without him. And, and I, I'm trying to like, and, and you're right that, you know, for someone that 
played with his brother for a long time and then uh, inevitably against his brother. He says, you know, the game's going to feel empty. I, I, I think that's just kind of him caught up in the moment. I mean, no. yeah, it, you, you're kind of – you can still – you still have someone to talk to and relate to as far as like where the game's headed and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I I left my brother behind and he's still in that game, and uh, honestly, like we talk a lot and it it's it gets it gets frustrating sometimes. Yeah, because you know? you're still emotionally invested. I get it. Of course, it. yeah, hundred um, percent. Let's stay Eagles, man. Let's talk about the possibility of them actually bringing Barkley over because that's been in the news Yo. all week. Now, Giants fans are losing their goddamn mind about it, which no. is fantastic in my opinion. I just think it's so yeah. funny. The one. Uh, football player that they have on their team could possibly yeah, uh, let him go. To go. The let him go. Who cares? Like, and everybody's comparing it to to Wheeler. Like, fine. Wheeler was a a bad Met employee, dude. And I know this because his social media told you that. His profile when he was a Met told you that he was going through a ton of injuries. He was never healthy, and he had this passive aggressive profile. I'm more than just a Met play. I'm I. Um, there's more about me than just the Mets. Like, great, dude. That's awesome. Like, but why are you sharing that? Like, because now it doesn't say that, you know, like about uh, being a Philly. Like, so like, I'm glad he's happy, but also like Barkley, like what, what advantage is it for the Giants to go chase after him? One that they already shot their load with Daniel Jones. Like they have too much money invested in him. So unreal and when you y- think about it. Yeah, it's it so really stupid. Is, it's so it was dumb. And like the, the the decision to not franchise tag Barkley. I I right. really well, want to know. The gentleman's agreement. It was a gentleman's agreement because they did it last year, and he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna take it, but I'm tired." And remember, they had that committee with. <laughs> all the running backs saying like, oh, we're not going to take it. And then Barkley took the money <laughs> like the day later. Uh, so I think he, he knew like, Hey, look, this is, we're going to give one more go at this and then I'm testing the, the market. And uh, if you franchise tag me, I'll sit out like kind of attitude. Yeah, so, well. so they didn't franchise tag them, which y- they had no choice. You know, they, they knew it was going to come. I mean, they had a choice legally, but I mean, you, you but when you get franchise tagged, you're, you're still guaranteed a certain amount of money for like, one year. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you can't. Yeah. So and you knew that like, uh, franchise tags should, it, you know, NFL needs to fix all that stuff, man. Guaranteed contracts need to be a thing. Like I know baseball is a little bit out of control, but there's a lot of money in this sport, you know, and you got to be able to give it to the players because they're the ones risking their lives. If if the college kids can make a, right. a decent pocket out of it, you better right. believe the pros can. Oh, can absolutely. Do it. Like, so, so it's just silly. We're talking about money. You know, we're talking about salary caps. We're talking about it's the largest freaking sport. There's not a NFL owner that's living in poverty right now. <laughs> Dude, Ab, did you see the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs? You saw his suite, I right? I know, yeah. He has a house. It's a house. He has a house in Arrowhead Stadium. Yeah. Like, no, nobody's missing out on this stuff. Not and Barkley's all. a winner for this, man. He can actually negotiate with a team that yeah. doesn't have to give up a one or two first-round draft picks. Mm. And then the Giants can go through whatever, re- quote, rebuild they want to go through. It's just yeah. dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the Eagles are going to go out. I mean, come on. Well, you got you still have Swift, right? I mean. Right. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it, it puts them over, but it also, like, is it – I don't know if it's necessary. Like, you know, I, I mean, Barkley, one, has the best arm on the Giants right now, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> two, like, so there's there's so many different things. He's a beast. He's an absolute monster. And it's just like, if he could stay healthy, it's lights out. It's Bo Jackson in it on the NES type stuff where he's just untouchable. So, I, you know, I, I, like, honestly, like, I, I think, you know, of course it's going to happen. Of course it's going to happen. He's going to leave New York and – you know, and they're trying to relate it to Wheeler and, and stuff like that. And that just grinds my gears because, you know, a co- shout outs to Wheeler. He's performing amazingly. He's one of the top baseball pitching prospects. Correct. And when he was on the Mets, he was fourth or fifth starter. Mm-hmm. You know, you had Harvey, Noah, uh, freaking Th- uh, no, Harvey, Noah and DeGrom all ahead of him. You know, he was like the forgotten child. And uh, like I said, he was also... Uh, tons of tons of injuries. So, do you so do you feel that Barkley has a good chance of signing with the Eagles, or do you think that's just New York Post tri-state drama? 
I think it's drama, but I also think like, yeah, it's it's a possibility. I, I you know, it's one of those options that that are out there. I, do I think it happens? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Are you willing to put money on that? Yeah, I am. All right. You want? I do think it? it's gonna happen. We're gonna use our new sponsor. I think it's gonna. I do. I think we need to put our money where our mouth is. Here. Okay. And we're gonna tell everybody that there is now a place to do that. That's mm-hmm. not Venmo. No. This is not just a simple, ge- I mean, it's a simple gentleman's agreement, but now both of us are putting up money. It's not one of those right. where I'm like, hey, man, I'll bet you 50 bucks, and then when it doesn't happen, you don't Venmo me. We both put up the money, mm-hmm. and then the winner gets paid. Yeah. And I'm talking about cut the social betting platform. Yeah. Cut betting, guys. Uh, brand new app. If you have an iPhone, download the app. If you don't have an iPhone, you have to check out, um, what is it? It's play.cut. Dot com and we're talking cut k u t t it's a peer to peer p to p social betting platform it allows friends strangers whoever as long as you get on this app you can bet directly against each other on the outcome of anything mm-hmm. anything that has a legitimate outcome i'm talking sports pop culture politics any other event events yeah. we we mentioned the, the oscars, oscars you yeah. can bet on uh, you can bet on uh, you know what the first song of uh, Taylor Swift's new album is going to be. You could create odds like you and your buddy are going mini golfing or, or actual golfing. Mm-hmm. You could create odds per hole or whatever you want. You could do anything. Uh, you could also friend us on the social media pod, uh, social media platform, and we could play against you. And we're going to do tons of stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like, obviously, we poke fun at the Phillies. They poke fun at the, the New York uh, teams. And uh, we're going to have fun with that for sure. So cut.com is amazing. Check them out. Download the app. Uh, promo code GAMBLER. Um, you know, and it's going to be a very, very cool relationship. But it's also it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's a way we can now interact with our fans. But also, like, how many times do you and I make a bet? And the, house, and the house takes the money. So, in other words, you had what? Tails? Mm-hmm. And I had heads mm-hmm. at the Super Bowl. Absolutely. And I won. Right. So, you're out money. I got money. But it's really like I got your money now. Well, now we're cutting out the middleman. That guy that took our money. Right. And now we got a referee, essentially, through cut that's allowing us now bet against each that's other. Right. And, and I love that. Nobody can flake. You really you, you can make this as fun as you absolutely want. Mm-hmm. I think this thing is fantastic. Go ahead, check them out on the website. Check their socials. It's at cut k u t t bet, and that's on Instagram, uh, Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it. They're on TikTok. It's at cut bet k u t t bet. Check them out on their socials. They're the real deal, guys. It is the ultimate. Um, you know, betting platform. Uh, they combine social media betting. You can trash talk. You can do whatever you want. It's one-stop shopping. Put your money where your mouth is. Cut. Cut. Guaranteeing that the house never wins again. Oh, love uh, it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Guys, definitely follow us on Cut. We have some exciting, exciting things coming up. And uh, yeah, we're absolutely ready. When you texted me that we that we were able to secure, or I should say, you were able to secure this sponsor. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, dude, I'm gonna lose so much money. <laughs> well, dude, <laughs> yeah. Well, so first, like, I'm gonna bet on everything. It, it was awesome, though. Like they, you know, Jan, they saw Jansen creating Oscar odds on Twitter, mm-hmm. and they they approached him, and he was like, yo, Powers, like set it up, tell him our story. I did fell in love with the gambler all the way. I told the entire history of the gambler. Shout outs to the Tallarita family. And, and, you know, and I said, hey, look, like when Mike used to close a deal, I've, I did dinner with him a bunch of times and he would order either Blue Moon or Miller Lite. And it's not because he liked them. It was because those were his brands. Mm-hmm. So those were his clients. So he always drank them. I said, I will always drink out of the cut cup. Okay. Like, yeah. So Ooh. I was like, I promise you that with all my heart. And we're here. We're loyal. We, we love cut. Uh, we can't wait to watch them grow, and and you know, and the coolest part is, forty-one states they're in right now. Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna be awesome. It's awesome, and they they offer things like rewards. You get cash back just for betting against your friends. Cash back on every single bet. Um, you know, like mm. we said, you could trash talk. You could literally bet on anything with what they call a verifiable outcome. Uh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. take look, Luke Arcaney's money. I'm gonna take it all day long. I can't <laughs> wait to get that kid. <laughs> Luke and I podcast. Shout outs to Luke. But yeah, man, talk about. Ah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna be awesome. It really is. It really like, is. I ch- yeah, I, look, every everybody, it's just everything's exciting. Everybody thinks their bet's gonna win, like, but it's like sometimes I sit back and, you know, it's always 
the quiet one you got to watch out for. The other day I showed my stats on, on a betting site, mm. and uh, my wife's like, you're pretty good. I was like, yeah, I don't brag about it. I said, but, you know. Where's that money? There is a show out there somewhere in the, the universe called Powers Parlays. Like, I didn't just get that from nothing. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so there's that. Uh, we're going to take a short break, guys. When we come back, we're going to talk about the death of boxing and how that's going to start with that awful Tyson uh, Logan Paul, no, I'm sorry, Jake Paul event or whatever it is. I just, I, I can't, we got to get into it in the next segment. Stay with us, Divide Live on Fox Sports, The Gambler. 